Hi all, my name is Ariana Prothero and I cover School Choice for Education Week. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about School Choice, the different types of private school choice programs that are out there. All of this having to do and relating back to the fact that President-elect Donald Trump has picked a huge school choice supporter to be his education secretary in his administration. Her name is Betsy DeVos and she's a billionaire from Michigan who has been a longtime philanthropic supporter and advocate for school choice. One of the things that Betsy DeVos will probably be asked to do as education secretary should she be confirmed is to try to implement a really ambitious school choice proposal Donald Trump made on the campaign trail. This was a proposal to spend $20 billion in federal funds on school choice for low-income kids. There are a lot of limitations to that idea beyond just the political. For instance, where would the money come from? Are there enough different types of schools out there to fuel such an expansive school choice program? While there is still a lot we don't know about that particular school choice proposal, we do know a lot about the current school choice programs that are out there. A lot of people are already familiar with charter schools and magnet schools, which are public schools of choice. People are maybe less familiar with the various types of private school choice programs. These are programs that use public money to help send students to private schools, including religious private schools. Perhaps the best known type of program is a voucher program. A school voucher is a program where the state basically gives a family a tuition voucher and the family then spends that money at a private school of their choice. Again, this could be a religious school or it could not. Then there are other types of voucher-like programs, programs that are similar to school vouchers but have important differences and this is where things start to get a little bit wonky. Among these programs are tax credit scholarships and education savings accounts. Under a tax credit scholarship program, the state will give a tax credit to a business or an individual who donates money to an approved scholarship program. That approved program then gives money to a family to spend on tuition at a private school. Then there are education savings accounts. This is the newest type of these programs. In an education savings account program, the state takes the money or a portion of the money that it would normally have sent to a school district for a particular child, and they put that money in a special account, an education savings account. Then the parent is allowed to take money out of that account and spend it on approved education expenses. So this could be to hire a private tutor, it could be for therapy, or again, for tuition at a private school. So there's a short primer on the different types of school choice programs out there, which we are sure to hear more of under a Trump administration. For Education Week, I'm Ariana Prothero.